Hey there, Vinyl Community. I'm Gary, and this is Physical Format Rock and Roll. Thank you so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. This is an episode of Vinyl Finds. A little bit different because normally in Vinyl Finds, uh, it's just stuff that I find in the bins. But this is a little different because I've mixed in some VCLT with it. Uh, but the way I see it, they are Vinyl Finds. I found them in my mail. So the first uh, couple here... Anyway, uh, this is Rebel Yell by Billy Idol. Man, this is a fantastic record. I love this album so much. Uh, I don't have it on vinyl. All I've ever had is on cassette. This is from Josh, JC. The flip side, the vinyl community with JC. I think most of you are familiar with him. If not, definitely go check out his channel because he has a fantastic channel. Always keeps everybody informed on everything that's coming out, uh, all the remastered things, the box sets. But he also, uh, he does some reviews of different things uh, occasionally that he really likes. He'll do a review of it. And he does his own vinyl finds, which are always great because he gets everything for a quarter. But uh, anyway, he got a new version of this. It had the hype sticker on it and everything. You know how much he loves his hype sticker. Uh, well, he had an old copy of it, and I was in a group text. He said, hey, I'm, you know, does anybody want my old copy? Nobody said anything. I waited quite a while. Uh, I didn't want to be Mr. Eager Beaver. I waited. Uh, nobody said anything, and, you know, finally I said, hey, uh, I'll take it if nobody wants it. I love this. Uh, this, is, this is such a great album. Like I said, I only had it on cassette. So, Fantastic. And of course, a hand-me-down from Josh is basically like a new record, right? Because you know how, how well he takes care of everything. So that's fantastic. I'd had a hell of a time finding a used copy that nice. And then on top of that, he asked me, he said, Hey, uh, do you have the first album by Skid Row? I said, No. Oh, now I do. So look at it. Let me take this out real quick. Because this is on... This cool looking purple vinyl. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell how it's got like different shades in it or not, but it is really cool. Man, I, I tell you what, I, I have not heard this album. I can't even tell you how long it's been because it has really been a long time. I forgot, totally forgot they uh, do Rattlesnake Shake on here. Uh, you know, all I could think of was like, you know, some of the hits, but this is so good. It's so much better than I actually remember. Uh, sounds great. Thank you so much, Josh. Uh, you are awesome. I love, love that very much. And then, uh, next up, the VCLT that I got was, this is kind of, uh, this is from Jeff Witcher, from, uh, Jeff Witcher's Vinyl Destination. I think most people are familiar with him. Of course, he's got a great channel and he's well known for being very funny he makes really humorous videos, which he does. And some of them have been some of my favorite comedy moments. So he's got a great comedic mind, but he also knows a lot about music. And he does a lot of straight videos about music, too. And so it's very unfair to just categorize him as, you know, Mr. Funny Guy, because he's really good at all the stuff that he does. Well, anyway, uh, basically, I had done him a favor. And he wanted to return a favor, do me a favor, you know, kind of like the mafia. And so he said, uh, you'll get something in the mail for me tomorrow. I said, all right. What did I get? I got this. The new remastered version of Let It Be. I told him I didn't have this. Actually, I've never had this on vinyl. Uh, I had it on CD. But I got this, and it, it got this note. And it says, you need this. Uh in capital letters, and I did need this. Man, I'll tell you what, uh, this is the remastered by Giles Martin, which, of course, is uh, Steve Martin's nephew. And this thing sounds fantastic. Uh, you know, I realize I'm half deaf, and I don't have the greatest stereo in the world, but man, uh, man, I, I, I played this thing, and... I was just surprised. This is the way records are supposed to sound, you know? I mean, 
the uh, the bass drum sounds so good, and the bass itself, Paul McCartney's bass. I don't know. I I, I really feel like they stand out more on this than they did before. It's just one of those albums, uh, you know, kind of reminds me of Darkness on the Edge of Town, the sound that has, where it just has a very real sound. You feel like it's in the room with you. And, uh, you know, some of the strings and everything, they mix those in better. Just really like it. Now, here, here's something funny. So Jeff had that, um, that episode he did where he was complaining about uh, the mail and or Amazon, how they package things sometimes. Well, it must just be him because this is the first time this record when it came was basically in a bag, in a brown bag. And like, you know, the corners got bent up on it uh, because of that. Luckily, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not upset. The record's fine. The record's in perfect shape, you know, but I, <laughs> this is what's funny. So it came in a freaking bag you know, where it bent up those corners. My wife got this in the mail today, okay? This, whatever, hairspray. And it came in this. <laughs> so, it makes no sense. But uh, anyway, it, you know, it's just funny. The record's in great shape. Totally happy. Thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, next up, this is, now that these next few are ones that I found. This is North Coast, right? Yeah, North Coast by Michael Stanley Band. Of course, a uh, famous band out of Cleveland, Ohio. This is one of those half and half albums. Uh, I mean, it sounds good, but, you know, half of it I like, half of it is a little too much trying to sound like some of the early 80s. You know, these guys are more roots rock type thing doesn't always match. I don't know. I mean, I'm still listening to it. So, I mean, you know, it's only a couple bucks, but you know, some of it's good, some of it's not. Next one, uh, I have not had a chance to listen to this yet, actually. Uh, Hold Out, another Jackson Brown album that I got for a couple bucks. Now, this one is uh, pretty good shape, though. This is falling apart here in the sleeve, but uh, yeah, you can see that is really good. I was surprised at how good of shape that this is in on Asylum Records. That uh, Michael Stanley band album, by the way, was like from 81, I believe. So, another Jackson Brown to add to my collection here. And then finally, I don't want to show too much. This makes... Perfect sense that I'm showing this. This is the second album by Michael Nesmith and his national band, first national band. This one is called Loose what, Salute. Loose Salute. Uh, if you're not familiar, Michael Nesmith from the Monkees, which I'm going to go see him. Uh, I don't know when I will post this video, so I don't know when, what day to tell you. But uh, anyway, I'm going to be seeing Michael Nesmith and Mickey Dolenz. And this is a really good country, country rock album. Actually does a remake of Listen to the Band on here, which is very different from the one that he did with the Monkees because it's much more countryfied. And this is... What's crazy is I found that this is used, but this is obviously, this is like from 2018 when they re-released this because it's on this cool looking red vinyl. I'm pretty sure that's not the way it came out in 1970. So sounds good. Great shape. That's what I got on uh, this version of Final Find. So uh, thank you very much, Josh and Jeff. And thank you everybody who watched this video. Till the next time, my friends, I will see you down the road.